Hello everyone. I am Professor Chaitanya Deshpande. In my previous video lecture, we have seen how to solve problems based on two port network. In this video lecture, we will see problems on two port network but which consist of dependent sources. We all know the basics of network that what is meant by source and there are two types of the sources independent and dependent sources. So source is a basic network element which supplies energy to the network. So what is meant by independent uh, source or what is meant by dependent source? In case of independent sources, output characteristics are not depend on any other network variable such as current or voltage etc. Whereas in case of uh, dependent source, if the voltage or current of source depends upon some other voltage or current, that particular kind of source is nothing but dependent source. So in this first numerical, we have to find out Z and hybrid parameter of, of for a given network. So you can see here in middle branch or in middle loop, you will have a voltage source. They have given plus minus means originally it is a voltage source. But voltage across it depends on current I1. So that's why this kind of uh, source is nothing but current dependent voltage source. What is that? It is current dependent voltage source. Rest of the procedure for solving this kind of numerical will be same as we have seen in last numerical uh, in last video. So let us apply again KVL to mesh number one. So it will be V1 equal to 4 I1 minus 2 I3. Let us apply KVL to last loop, which is which you will get V2 equal to 4 I2 plus 2 I3. And let us apply KVL to middle loop. So in this middle loop, you will have this dependent source. This dependent source is nothing but which kind of source? It is basically a voltage source, but voltage across it depends on current flowing through that source. So therefore it is current dependent voltage source. So if you apply KVL to third mesh, you will get I1 plus I2 equal to minus 2I3. Now carefully see first two equations. In first equation, V1 equal to 4I1 minus 2I3. But according to the original equation of Z parameter, it is V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. So according to original equation of Z parameter, in the equation of V1, we should have term of I2. But here in equation number one, we have term of I3. That is, we have term of V1, we have term of I1, and we have term of I3. So we have to eliminate this term I3 from equation number one. So for that, we can take help of third equation. From third equation, here, from third equation, we will get a relationship between I3, I1 and I2. So it would be minus 1 by 2 I1 minus 1 by 2 I2 is equal to I3. So if you put equation number 3 in equation number 1, we will get V1 equal to 5 I1 plus I2. Again, if you compare this equation with original equation of Z parameter, here you will get Z11 as a 5 and Z12 as a 1. Again, in equation number 2, we have term of V2, we have term of I2 and we have term of I3. We have to eliminate this term I3 from equation number 2. So for that, we can take help of equation number 3. So if you put equation 3 in equation 2, you will get V2 equal to minus I1 plus 3I2. Let this will be equation number 5. So comparing this equation 4 and equation 5 with original equation of Z parameter, you will get Z11 as a 5, Z12 as a 1, Z21 as a minus 1 and Z22 as 3. Here along with Z parameter, we have to determine H parameter as well. So for that, we will use relationship between Z and H parameter. So this relationship is nothing but H11 equal to delta Z upon Z22, H12 is equal to Z12 upon Z22. H21 is equal to minus Z21 upon Z22 and H22 equal to 1 upon Z22. How to find out this delta Z? Delta Z is nothing but Z11 Z22 minus Z12 Z21. We have values of Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. Substitute over here and find out H parameter. So H11 will be 16 by 3, H12 will be 1 by 3, 
H21 will be 1 by 3 and H22 will be again 1 by 3. Let us move to the second example. Find Y and Z parameter for given network. So here you can see you have one dependent source here. So it is which kind of dependent source? Basically it is a current source and current through this source depends on voltage V1 which is 2V1 they have given over here. So this is basically a voltage dependent current source. So I told you in last video lecture that if you want to find out Y parameter it is advisable to use Kirchhoff current law or it is advisable to use nodal analysis method. So we have applied KCL at node number 3. So for node number 3 this current I1 is incoming. It is moving from V1 through 1 by 2 ohm resistor towards V3. So it will be V1 minus V3 upon 1 by 2. Then this 2 V1 is a current source. So that's why we have taken it as it is and let us assume that current is flowing from third node through one ohm resistance towards second node so it will be v3 minus v2 by 1. If you rearrange this and if you solve this you will get v3 equal to v2 divided by 3 then it will be equation number 1. Now this v1 minus v3 upon 1 by 2 is same as that of current i1. So same equation is written here i1 is equal to 2 v1 plus V3 minus V3 minus V2. So if you substitute here value of V3 as V2 by 3 from equation number 1, we will get I1 is equal to 2 V1 minus 2 by 3 into V2. Similarly, we have applied KCL at second node. So for second node, this current I2 is incoming. Let us assume that current flowing through 1 by 2 ohm resistance, it is moving away from the node. And again, current from second node is moving towards 1 ohm resistance towards third node. So this equation will be here I2 equal to 2V2 plus V2 minus V3. Again from equation number 1 we can substitute value of V3 as V2 divided by 3 and we will get here I2 is equal to 8 by 3 into V2. So if we compare this equation equation 2 and equation 3 with the standard equation of Y parameter what is the standard equation of Y parameter? It is I1 is equal to Y11 V1 plus Y12 V2 and I2 is equal to Y21 V1 plus Y22 V2. So if we compare equation 2 and 3 with the standard equation of Y parameter, we will get Y11 as 2, Y12 as minus 2 by 3, Y21 as 0 and Y22 as 8 by 3. So for getting the Z parameter, we should have to use relationship between Z and Y parameter. So relationship is like this Z11 equal to Y22 upon delta Y. Z12 is equal to minus Y12 upon delta Y. Z21 is equal to minus Y21 upon delta Y. And Z22 is equal to Y11 upon delta Y. How to find out delta Y? It is Y11 into Y22 minus Y12 into Y21. We have all values of Y parameter. Just substitute over here and find out Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22 by using these formulas. In third numerical, we have to determine Z and Y parameter. Now in third numerical, we will have two independent sources, two dependent sources, I'm sorry, two dependent sources. Both these sources are voltage sources, okay? But the source which is provided on the left hand side of the circuit, it is current control voltage source and source which is provided to the right hand side of the circuit it is voltage controlled voltage source. So you will have two closed loops here so we apply KVL to mesh loop you will get V1 equal to 4 I1 plus 0 0.05 I2 and if you apply KVL to second loop you will get V2 equal to 2 I2 minus 10 I1. If we put equation 1 in equation 2 we will get V2 is equal to Equation 1 in equation 2 means what? Instead of this 10 V1, instead of this V1, you will have whole equation number 1. So when you put over here, you will get V2 equal to minus 40 I1 plus 1.5 I2. If we compare equation number 1 and equation number 3 with the standard equation of Z parameter, which is V1 equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2, we will get Z parameters like Z11 equal to 4, Z12 equal to 0 0.05, Z21 equal to minus 40 and Z22 equal to 
For getting y parameter, again we have to use relationship between z and y parameter. So y11 is z22 upon delta z, y12 equal to minus z12 upon delta z, y21 equal to minus z21 upon delta z, and y22 equal to z11 upon delta z. How to find out delta z? It is z11 into z22 minus z12 into z21. So we have all values of z parameters. Put it in the formulas of y11, y12, y21, and y22, and find out values of this y parameter. Thank you very much for watching this video.